The surge in Central American women and children crossing the U.S. border through the Rio Grande Valley shows no sign of slowing down. 1,100 immigrants are turning themselves in every single day. About one in five are children traveling alone. They want to be in their custody. They want to be processed. They want to be detained so that they can get one of those NTAs, a notice to appears, and then they're able to travel freely throughout our country. That's why federal, state, county, and city leaders along the border region are organizing right now for a more coordinated response to the humanitarian crisis. While some in Congress are calling for the National Guard to intervene, leaders in the Rio Grande Valley say they can handle the humanitarian efforts better than federal agencies if given the money and resources. We want to give the local communities, the local um, business people, the university, uh, some charitable organizations a chance to see how sustainable it is. Public health is the state's number one concern. So if they leave here unhealthy, it's a problem for us, but probably a bigger problem for where they're going. So far, the biggest threat found amongst the immigrants is chickenpox. There is no indication of any communicable diseases, any infectious diseases that are a threat to us at this point. After spending a number of days in overcrowded holding facilities, the U.S. Border Patrol says they are releasing about 200 detainees a day at the McGowan bus terminal to unite with family members across the country. And quite frankly, they don't want to stay here. But before these women and children continue their journey, charities and city governments in the Rio Grande Valley are tasked with taking care of them. So if this is going to be sustainable over time, we would need our state and federal partners to say, okay, we want to be part of the process and we want to help. McAllen City officials say they spent at least $15,000 this last week and estimate that expense to grow. Now Republicans and Democrats alike are calling on Governor Perry to call a special legislative session to handle the crisis. I believe we should step up at the state level, come in and help the local uh, cities and the counties deal with this, uh, and then demand that the Congress pay us back.